We are going to see how to create a dynamic chart in Excel and uh, using both uh, the standard uh, normal distribution and also the uh, uh, regular normal distribution. The standard normal di distribution we need Z score. So let's have a Z score column and then probability. I'm going to start from negative 4 to negative 3.9. And I'll go up to positive four. And then calculate the probability. Um, it will basically give you the cumulative probability, the function norms, this standard normal distribution function calculate the probability before negative 4 in a normal distribution curve and as you can see it going all the way up to 1 meaning that it is giving me the cumulative probability so let's calculate the uh, actual probability between cells so between 3.9 and 4 between 3.8 and 9 and so on so I can just type this one and then uh, this minus this I can copy the way down so I can get that value uh, we can say probability we can also say frequency if we want uh, and not necessarily the area under the curve there the uh, height of the bar so some sort of frequency now I want to see if some value z score value uh, and then the associated probability with that so it's a negative and I want to dynamic if I change these numbers dynamically the chart will change let's go ahead and do it it's gonna make more sense once we have everything up so let's just do it p probability and then less than stop the quotation mark and percent this cells so this dynamic level when we plot the chart it will keep changing with this value once we change this value same thing say we want to have probability of uh, some uh, score higher than 2 uh, see how we calculate that so we're gonna have a quotation mark probability parentheses greater than close the quotation mark and percent and then select this cell now I'll have to type this condition so if this Z score is less than or equal to this value and this condition this uh, criteria will be used to test each of these cell values so I'm gonna freeze that uh, G1 cell comma if that condition meet then give me this probability if that does not meet then give me something nothing basically so you can go copy all the way down as you can see it is drop up to 3 because that's the condition and nothing is there I want to see uh, what if I want to see more than two uh, probabilities so same uh, if if this cell is greater than or equal to we can have greater than or equal to or greater than both ways gonna work uh, this then I want to use this same condition for each of these uh, cells so I want to freeze that comma if that condition meet then give me this probability if it does not then give nothing as you can see nothing is produced here 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 it's all the way up to 2 you should not see anything now starting from 2 I see probability again now I would like to pro plot that area probability curves so I'm going to select that hold the control key and then select these three 
if I go to insert then area under the curve I'm using 2013 uh, Excel you may have uh, something different so this function will be a little bit different version to version but the idea is same so you go to more chart and then we can select these which look like a normal distribution chart so this is what we get now before we do anything let's label that so y axis is basically the probability or frequency sorry about that thing x axis is the z score And then the title of the chart, I would say, visualize the visualize dynamic area under standard normal distribution. Just can have like that. So now if we'd like to see the the change now I can choose say for example one and then you can see this chart changes now n instead of negative three let's choose negative one now see this is changing so between one instant deviation the area under the curve about 68 percent uh, how about the two standard deviation uh, most of the areas is between two standard deviations. So that's it about the dynamic chart using the uh, G distribution. Then uh, next we are going to see how to create the uh, this dynamic chart using uh, regular normal distribution.